Today is a day. I am going to get a coffee, a pastry, and find a place to just to share with you. Starbucks card, I love it. <laughs> and what's thank your you. name? Maggie. Maggie, thank you. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. I hope you enjoyed that today. These guys are coming right up. Thank you. So here we are again at Starbucks to enjoy a coffee. Um, I forgot to get the pastry, but that's fine. 
I have a thing with coffee mugs. If I could, I would have every single coffee mug I see and I love. <laughs> Let's go get our coffee. Okay, we need to find a place, beautiful place to hang out for a bit. I am so happy that Starbucks brought the hazelnut latte back. This is my favorite. I don't like the caramel latte because, oh no, it's like it. the caramel covers or takes the coffee taste away, but the hazelnut doesn't. Okay, let's move. Okay, here we are. It is difficult to find a um, good spot to have a chat uh, because everything is, is busy and uh, most of the tables are actually taken already. And I found that actually uh, this park, this park is the one where I made the chocolate covered dates. And right where I actually made the dates, is where I found a bunch of brothers enjoying some drinks and and uh, eating something together so um, everyone in their own way are spending Eid together um, but it is my first Eid actually um, spending by myself and I mean it I'm not going to lie, it saddens me and it's not what I expected. Um, this morning I wasn't able to go to the, to the masjid as I was planning to go for Eid prayers. But regardless, um, it is what it is. It is every, the plan that God or Allah um, has for every one of us has a meaning and a reason. So, I just need to be patient and see what's coming next. And yes, I have no idea what is coming next. Um, I am just going with the flow, trusting in our beautiful protector and creator. Some of you asked what is Ramadan and if I can explain that um, in one of my videos. And first of all, I'm going to I'm going to say um, my my channel is not a religious channel. Um, I, I saw a comment uh, about feeling because a brother in Islam shared his knowledge was making the channel religious, and I understand that. Um, but um, that was not the intention and. Uh, my intention when I share something is not only because uh, some of you ask about it, it's also because, as I said before, Islam is m my life and, and I try to do things as best as possible based on the teachings of our Prophet and, and the Quran that those are my two guides and um, nothing else <laughs> to be honest with you nothing else um, what is Ramadan and let me tell you I'm a revert Muslim I reverted back in 2018 Alhamdulillah and I have no my knowledge is not like the knowledge of a person that was born and raised in Islam. I, I don't have that big of a knowledge. I have the knowledge that um, the person that actually taught me everything was guided by Allah to teach me everything that I know about Islam. First of all, Ramadan is the name of the month in the lunar calendar. Um, so, for those who didn't know that, yes, that, that is the name of the month. 
and it's the month where the first revelation of the Quran happened and that's why it's such an important month in our calendar. It is such a blessed month. You have no idea. The moment Ramadan starts, you can feel how blessed it is. Everything that would be a little bit harder any other day of the year, it is so much more easier during Ramadan. Essentially, we are reminded of the importance of being a better person. During Ramadan, it is expected and is needed and is actually required from everyone that is observing Ramadan. And when I say observing Ramadan is uh, fasting every day from dawn to sunset during daylight hours. We can't either drink or eat anything. And it is expected from us to observe Ramadan by doing that, by praying, by volunteering if we can, by um, reaching out to everyone and anyone that may be in need, by doing charity if you can, in any way. It can be by donating money or by donating food or by going and helping um, some way, somehow, someone. <laughs> some way, somehow, someone. Um, so it is the month where we are reminded that we can't curse, uh, we can't use foul language, uh, especially when we are fasting, but throughout the whole, every single second of Ramadan. Um, but we, why did I say especially when we are fasting? Because if you either engage in a discussion, a bad discussion or violent discussion, or if you engage in um, a conversation where you're using foul language, your fast can be broken, can be nullified. Ramadan is the month of mercy, that we receive the mercy from God and if we do it right, or as best as we can, we receive the mercy of Allah, God, and we are forgiven for our sins. And that's the most important, that's the main reason why um, we, we observe Ramadan. Um, so everything that that we do during Ramadan, the way that we think, the, because we need to be positive the whole month. And sometimes, of course, you're human and, and, and you, are, you have your here and there a negative, negative thought. Or for one reason or another, you can feel sad during Ramadan. That is human. But, but the majority of the month, it is expected from you to be happy whenever possible 100% of the time and be grateful be be a better person in 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 any way as i said in the way that you project yourself in the way that you conduct yourself with other people in the way that you communicate uh, with pa patience with patience and with consciousness of of Allah at all times and remembering that everything depends on Allah and uh, we are here to we are here just to to follow his way to follow yeah to follow his way and um, and remember that when I say when I say um, consciousness of God of Allah um, I mean that everything we do consciously <laughs> is is 
done in a way that is going to please Allah. If we do that, if the whole world would do that, then um, everything would be so much better. If you have any bad habits before Ramadan, hello. Hello. <laughs> Of course, you have to stop doing it during Ramadan because um, those habits would nullify your um, your fast, or maybe maybe you wouldn't achieve uh, the forgiveness of Allah by doing things that you shouldn't be doing. Everything that we do is is healthier, and it is um, better for your body, your soul, your mind and when Ramadan ends the most of the times those bad habits or those habits that are not healthy for you at the end of the day to explain it better Ramadan is a reminder of how we are supposed to be year-round with no exception of what day of the year you are living your name? I've always wanted. Is it on right now? It is on now. What's your name? Afaf. Afaf? Hi everybody. Oh, isn't she sweet? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I <everybody>. love you. What a glow fit. It's Mubarak to you too. Yeah. Thank you. That was the sweetest. She's so sweet. And what I said to her, Varakalaufik, uh, is um, God bless you. That's what it is. So, going back to what I was uh, trying to explain, when Ramadan ends, and this is something that I wish for everyone, is to keep living every day as if it were Ramadan. And what do I mean by this? Um, what I mean is that when Ramadan starts, everyone feels eager to to do things better, to do everything better, to helping people, to be more focused and con conscious of God and what God wants from us. And after Ramadan, so um, distracted with uh, the the daily life um, that sometimes we forget and we unconsciously we we stop doing that things that we do without effort during Ramadan so Ramadan is here not only um, for us to seek the biggest forgiveness of Allah for us to receive all the blessings that you receive during the month um, but also to remind us of who we are and how we should behave constantly no matter what day of the year it is no matter what time of the day it is and to be honest with you that this month this month this year felt different I'm not sure it's because of my living conditions or or if it's because of my me being by myself or if it's because of all the losses that I've had in the past few months um, but I also had gains not only losses I, I had a lot of gains and but it felt different. Ramadan went by so fast. And maybe it's because of the time of the year, because the days are shorter. I, I am not sure of why everything felt so different. But, and even though every single Ramadan I feel that I didn't do enough, I, I do feel that it was different in, in a positive way. I, I feel that somehow I grew stronger this month and I am extremely sad that Ramadan is over I wouldn't have a problem with 
Ramadan being the whole year. And no, I wouldn't have a problem with fasting every single day of the year as long as it is Ramadan and it feels like Ramadan. So yes, the, that's pretty much what Ramadan is. I am sure I, I prepared this video by writing down everything that I want to say and <laughs> I'm sure that I forgot something and I'm going to finish this video and I am going to go back to my notes and I am going to say I forgot to say this, I forgot to say that, but the gist of the video is for you to understand what Ramadan is and what Ramadan means, at least for me. It doesn't matter how much I explain what Ramadan means to me because there are no words to explain the deep feelings about Ramadan and the happiness of having this month in our lives. I just wanted to share that and I believe that those are the two questions about fasting, how you fast, and I said it at the beginning of this video, and what Ramadan is, and that's basically what it is. If you have any questions, then you can definitely ask, I'm going to answer your questions. And someone asked, someone asked if I was willing to do another Q&A, um, and yes, I am willing to do another Q&A and I am going to actually post in my community tab um, about the Q&A and I'm going to leave that for a couple of weeks for you guys to go and ask the question that you want to have answered <clears throat> any question that you want to have answered feel free to ask whatever you want because I'm never going to feel insulted or I'm never going to take any of the, the questions wrong. I know that uh, the questions are coming from a good place and uh, you don't mean anything wrong uh, when you ask those questions. I think that this concludes the video. It is a special video. Uh, I'm not doing anything special, only talking about who I am, pretty much, and how I live my life. Uh, I'm not sharing anything about what I'm doing with Elantra and I'm not traveling <laughs> I'm not cooking nothing I'm just having a Starbucks with uh, the money I still have in my beautiful gift card received by mail and yes that's pretty much what it is and oh <laughs> You might be wondering what's going on with my hijab. I've been feeling the need of wearing my hijab since probably since the time I stopped wearing it, even though I felt the need of stop wearing it for personal reasons. But it never felt right to stop wearing it. Um, but yes, I, I, I am wearing it today. I am um, considering keep wearing it it is part of me it is part of me and if you want me to explain why is it is part of me and to explain why and how I start wearing the hijab from the first time I started wearing my hijab then please leave a comment down below and I will definitely share my, my hijab journey. I've never heard of an experience like the one I had that made me start wearing the hijab. Um, so yes, feel free to drop the, the question and I'll definitely answer that for you. But again, this is not a religious channel, this is my life and I'll be happy to answer that question if you, any question about my religion, if, if you have it, um, I'll be happy to answer any of your questions about anything, not only about my religion, of course, I just want to reiterate that um, about my life, about how I think or how I do things, whatever you want. Hi! <laughs>
<laughs> hi. <laughs> hi everybody. Everybody saying hi to you. <laughs> You're so cute. I'll be back, okay. Okay. <laughs> Ah, oh, she's beautiful. Children, I love children. <laughs> they are so natural and so genuine. God bless them. <laughs> this concludes the video today. And I hope you enjoyed it, even though it's a different one. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please like this video and subscribe to my channel because more life in Elantra is coming a lot is coming um, so yes see you in the next one assalamu alaikum love you all